do dirt in there that might be clayish. While they are uh, working on the mound, we want to take you back to last year and that final historic night at Silver Stadium, which opened in 1929, and that final night against Ottawa. And take a look at this piece that we put together on that night. We really miss Silver Stadium because it's a part of our life. And it's, uh, once it's gone, you can never go back there. So uh, we'll all uh, just cherish our memories of it. It has its old time charm. I'm going to really miss it. I, um, there's just so many memories here. In 1934, I was out sitting out in the bleachers, and all of a sudden, this big tall ball player came along, and he gave me a Louisville Slugger bat. His name was Dizzy Dean. I spent most of my adult life here. Made a lot of friends, and will the friendship will probably continue, but uh, the setting will be different. That was a piece produced and edited by sports photographer Todd Hayes on the closing of Silver Stadium last year. And we will never forget 500 Norton Street. Let's go down to Rick Hager, who is with some of the fans right now, Rick. Thanks, Rich. Uh, sellout crowd of over 12,000, maybe 13,000. And let's talk to some of the fans. First of all, what's your name, sir? John Jansen. John, what do you think of the, the ballpark? Beautiful park. Real nice. Other than the mound, I guess, right now. Other than the mound, they're having problems with yes. Have you gone to Red Wings games all the time, or are you just coming out because of the event tonight? Occasionally, occasionally we do. But my wife won tickets this morning on a radio station, and uh, there we are. Well, good deal. Enjoy yeah. the rest of the game. Thank you very much. Bye. What about you? What's your name? Ron Carlson. And you're here with your family? or? Yeah, with my son Aaron. Aaron? Aaron. How's he liking the game so far? He's loving it. First baseball game. Not too cold for him? Uh, it's a little cold, but he's doing pretty good. And what do you think of the ballpark? I love it. It's great. It's really nice. Um, where are you from? I'm from Pavilion. And I work in Rochester. You grow up as a uh, as a Red Wings fan and go to the games no. at Silver. First first Red Wings game ever. Actually, I used to go to the Bison's game and I uh, work in Rochester and, and the stadium really brought me here. Okay, so otherwise, you wouldn't have come out. Uh, probably not. All right. Have fun the rest of the night. Okay. What's your name? Uh, my name is Richard. Richard. Where are you from, Richard? Uh, I'm from Pretty Nice Park. What do you think of the uh, new ballpark? I think it's good. What's the best thing about the new place? Uh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richard, enjoy the ball game. So some of the fans here tonight at Frontier Field, while the uh, mound continues to be repaired, they're just sitting here patiently, Rich. All right, Rick, that makes at least three Richards that are here tonight. You, me, and him. And it's nice to have you along with us on this uh, chilly Friday night here in Rochester. You know, we had those two Fridays. You know, it was 70 degrees, and we thought, Man, things are looking good, right? <laughs> but it's Rochester. It's April. 
and you got to be flexible. There's no question about it. And these fans are about as flexible as they want to be right now, waiting for this uh, mound to get taken care of. She has her hot coffee, and she's ready to wait it out. She came prepared. <laughs> You know, one of those fans said, though, Joe, I thought it was interesting. He said this was his first Red Wing game. He used to go to the Bison games a lot. And why? Mm -hmm. Brand new ballpark Brand new up ball in Buffalo. Park, right. Now, you know, I've, I've mentioned this often over the last three years that uh, we've lost a lot of sports dollars to Rochester, I mean, to Buffalo, and, and as, as well as to Syracuse because you've got the, uh, the University of Syracuse football and basketball. You've got the Buffalo Sabres. You've got the Buffalo Bills. And you have the new ballpark that uh, the Buffalo uh, baseball team plays at Pilot Field there. And I think, uh, I think we're going to draw some people here. That's one of the reasons I'd like to see the surrounding area here built up so well for families that it, that it will be hard to resist not only for us, but the surrounding areas as well, as well as Buffalo and Syracuse. Well, think about this too, Joe, that between Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse now, beginning next year, all three of those cities will be in the International League. Buffalo yeah. comes back again. Mm -hmm. And three great ballparks right. from Buffalo to Syracuse. It, it'll it'll be fun to be able to get in your car and go up or down the thruway and be able to go to a nice facility and watch baseball yeah. at the AAA level. It's the way I remember it. Every time uh, when I played uh, for Rochester, Buffalo was in the league. And when we played either in Buffalo or Syracuse, there were a lot of fans that came over to watch us play on the road. And it, it'll be terrific geographically. It'll help the ball club after a long, hard uh, uh, hall to maybe Richmond and Tidewater, uh, they'll come. Uh, they'll come back and maybe they'll hang around the house a bit. For example, our 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 next two two and a half weeks we're home except for maybe two or three ball games in Syracuse, and you might as well consider that a, a commuting trip. That's right. And well, it, it helps. It helps. It looks like they have uh, just about wrapped things up mm -hmm. on the mound here. <laughs> the grounds crew is. Asking the starting pitcher for the Scranton Red Barons, Carlton Lauer, to come out and uh, test things out. And he's going to have to throw for about five minutes now, too, to get back into the groove. I think they'll allot him as much time as he needs in order to uh, be ready to resume playing. Oh, well. You important talked about things uh, like mounds. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's a very important part. We talked earlier about some of the changes in the uh, Red Wing lineup this year, Joe, and changes on the coaching staff as well and Fred Dallimore comes over and is the new pitching coach a, a veteran been around baseball an awful long time and uh, talking with some of the pitchers uh, they really like him yeah he's uh, he's out of college and uh, it's not a bad move by the Orioles because a lot of ball players today have gone to college and they uh, they kind of uh, uh, get used to a college coach I'll put it that way because actually in, in high school and college ball, the, the manager is, is the coach. And in professional ball, he's the manager, but nonetheless a teacher. And uh, he was at UNLV for 27 years, University of, of Nevada, of Las Vegas. And uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's talked about, I've heard him talk about a few players that, that did play there, Matt Williams. will reach second with a single and a double. He's in scoring position with one away. 